So again, this is going back to our core IP that underpins the entire platform. So what we can do in the context of uh, presenting data quickly to people as they're sitting at home and swiping along and making predictions with the event is that our system can pull out more contextually rich data points to present to someone at home uh, from events that provide data, right? So esports and sports have very defined data feeds because those data feeds are used predominantly for wagering. Now we see that other, besides League of Legends, Dota 2, CSGO, no other game publishers have opened up APIs uh, for publishing their data streams. Again, because the predominant use is for wagering. So we asked ourselves, what can we do to make a engaging experience to our community without a data feed? And you know that's where we came up with the moderated community-based predictions. So what we can do in the context of, of making the connections between different data streams, for example, um, in North America, you know you have Madden football, which is a electric video game version of the NFL football, but European football. So if someone is at, um, we can suggest things that we can see into Madden NFL, which doesn't give us a data stream from the NFL because the same things would overlap. We can see that if someone is watching, is playing with a particular team in Madden, for example, uh, St. Louis or Los Angeles or whoever, and that we see that there is an actual real life game going on, we can push them a suggestion. Hey, do you like predictions in Madden NFL? Why don't you come make some predictions in the real NFL as well? So it's uh, very similar to, you know, when you go to a, a Google search bar and you type when is, and then it'll auto fill it for you. We still ha we have that type of capability within our system. Uh, so really what that means is, you know, once we scale up to hopefully millions and tens of millions and hundreds of millions of users, that we have a robust enough back end uh, to help us minimize our, our um, headcount ultimately, which will lead to more uh, optimal operating margins at scale as well, as opposed to having to throw a headcount on it and have people scroll through hundreds, if not thousands of events. So we're able to present things keep it light, keep it fast, and keep it engaging for consumers ultimately. Well, ultimately, the it comes down to fan-defined content by making predictions, but if I'm a viewer, why do I want to watch it? I want to play, I want to predict, I want to get rewarded. Right, so the gamification engine is very important because we want people to not only watch their favorite content producer, but we also uh, content creator. Sorry, we also want them to engage with other forms of content. Uh, you know, we want them to challenge their friends, their neighbors, their family to predictions on an event. We can have watch parties. So when we talk about our gamification engine, what we're talking about is how many points do I get for logging in? How many points do I get for making a prediction? How many points do I get for inviting a friend? How many points do I get for doing this two days in a row, three days in a row, five days in a row? How many multipliers do I get? How many bonus events do I get? And again, it's a free to play game. We don't want people to come in and it's $10. Absolutely not. It's an inverted business model. There are opportunities within the platform to spend money. Uh, we are finishing the gamification uh, build out as we speak. And then we're going to be fine tuning that with our partners uh, to make sure that it suits their community best, right? Because who knows their community better than the actual content creator, right? We don't want to come and say, well, you know, after 10 minutes, we're going to charge X, right? We're going to work with our partners to make sure that it fits their community profile. So um, again, it's a gamification engine. So at that point, it's very easy to make the, the fine adjustments to make sure it has the biggest mass appeal.